Hello all the Spirit Cocktails, I'm your host Pierre, today I'm making the Black Sails Eleanor Guthrie Cocktail. Now Eleanor is actually the daughter of Richard Guthrie who takes care of all the dealings in the black market as far as the, the pirates are concerned in Nassau. She also owns a tavern nearby there, she's constantly dealing with pirates all day. So to deal with pirates, you gotta have a bit of attitude. You're gonna have your attitude, you definitely gonna have some bite to it. But she's a woman, she's a beautiful woman, she knows how to use that. And she fell in love with another beautiful woman. So you're going to have a bit of passion, a lot of sweetness. It's going to be a very flavorful cocktail. But she's also someone who knows what she wants. You know, sometimes might not always get her what she wants. But I'll show you exactly how this cocktail is made. This is an Eleanor Guthrie cocktail. All right. Well, before you do that, first thing you want to do is you want the ice to your glass because you can't shake it without ice. That's good. So you want to add an ounce and a half of Malibu Red, which is my chance. Something I haven't literally used in over a year. So I actually forgot how this stuff tastes. Well, I know it tastes like coconut. And it has tequila. Caribbean rum. So it's going to be coconut, tequila, Caribbean rum. It's different. But I forgot what it tastes like. It's been so long. So you want to take about an ounce and a half of that. Definitely smell that tequila. I figure why not? I haven't used it in well over a year. Why not bring it back and use it again? Plus, it gives a little bit of passion, a little bit of red. Get to that. So, you want to take about half ounce of passion fruit. Can't have a hot woman without some passion. Take an ounce of spice rum. Now, one thing I noticed, pretty much every episode this week has spice rum of some sort. I've been using Seven Tiki. Kind of a hint. I'll have a review coming up sometime soon. This is definitely one of the best rums out there as far as spice rums go. You'll love it. If you haven't tried it, try it. Guaranteed, you're going to love it. You want to take a half ounce of your jeet syrup ah, what about that later then you want to take three ounces of grapefruit And give it a shake. Good. Hey, one thing I love that color. It's actually more of an orange color, surprisingly, because, well, most of your color is only coming from this and this, and yeah, a little bit from the rum, but basically from those two. But there you have it, the Black Sails Eleanor Guthrie Cocktail. It already looks pretty damn good just, just looking at it, see how it tastes. Wow. That is good, but it's such a, a punch in the face as far as flavor goes. You're tasting pretty much everything. You're definitely getting the coconut out of that Malibu Red. You're, the passion fruit definitely stands through. It's definitely going to have a lot of sweetness to it. Your Jeet kind of works in the background. You're getting a lot of that rum notes also with that. Because really, if you look at it, your only alcohol are these two. The majority of it is coming from Malibu Red, so you're going to get that coconut rum with that. But it 
It's like a taste of passion fruit first. But he's way the coconut finish. And everything else in between. So it's a lot of good flavor to it. Surprisingly, the one thing it has the least amount. It's also the most flavorful. It adds so much flavor balance to that cocktail. It makes it really good. It's a nice orange kind of pink color. Perfect for the fact that it's a woman. It's a She's also a very powerful woman, so it definitely has some potency in the end. Because you're getting something from this. So it's not like this is going to be like a completely plain, off-the-wall cocktail. It's going to have some potency to it, but not a lot. But it's very flavorful. I actually really like this. All week, the most flavorful cocktails were this and John Silver, surprisingly. That John Silver cocktail. Tell you one thing, though. That definitely can make you drunk pretty quick. It's that good, that sweet. It hides alcohol almost 100%. When you drink that thing, you won't feel it, but you'll feel it in the end. This is kind of the same thing. Other than the bite you're getting in, because she has a little bit of attitude, so you're getting that, that bite flavor you're getting from the cranberry juice. It's definitely something that kind of hits you in the end, so it's not like... This definitely comes through, but more so in the effect, but not so much a flavor. Everything else kind of masks the flavor of the grapefruit. Grapefruit by itself, it's kind of not very, that great. But a lot of people like grapefruit. Depends on your preferences. Have Bay Breeze, have whatever you want. Add some other flavors to it. Bring enough flavor out to it. You may like it, you may not. I don't know. But this one is very good cocktail. It's definitely something that I would sit there and probably drink this all one too. I kind of can't. Because I get drunk off it. But you'll love it. Let me know what you guys think of this cocktail. Be sure to like us on Facebook on Subscribe Your Cocktails. Check out the, all the other episodes we have for the Black Sales. If you ever watched the series, if you ever watched the, the season premiere of season 2, let me know what you guys think. It's a really good series. I love pirates. So, this whole week, nothing but rum style cocktails. Because it's pirates. And it's Black Sales. Why not bring some rum in there? But... I know you're guaranteed to love all these cocktails. I love every single one I made this week. Guaranteed you will too. Be sure to like us. Subscribe to us on Facebook, on YouTube. Do, uh, donate your, well, submit your cocktails. Whatever you want. Don't have to be pop culture. It can be whatever you want it to be. But as always, drink responsibly.